What's going on team? Proof here. And today I have the fourth part of my crazy eight and around G guards. And I'm sorry that this came so late. I got, I did a little bit back in, I think late August and then early September. I think it was all in August. And then September was very eventful with putting up the daily videos that this kind of got lost in the shuffle. And I apologize for that. I'd hope to have them up before the tournament started, but it just didn't happen that way. And I apologize for that. But Today I have how to crazy eight your way around the disruptive G-Guards in Gear Chronicle. And when it comes to Gear Chronicle, the main one we want to look out for is Hetero Around Dragon, which can, or that's the, that's been the most dangerous one for us because it can always buy, uh, put Frog Raider back to the deck and it takes away all the power boosts with it. And it kind of, it severely messes up our turns when we were only, when we only had Miracle Ace and Picaro to work with. but. I'm going to show you today how to get around it with uh, Hellheart 8. And the other one to, to think about is uh, Pandora Chimera. And it's not it's not played really at all, but if you happen to see it, I'm going to show you how to play around it. And it's really not that hard to do so. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway, just to make sure that I give you guys the most complete information as possible. And with that, I have the example set up. And... Generally, what you want to do is to simply call out your Frog Raider here and you can keep everything else in your hand because what you want to do against your Gear Chronicle opponent is that you're going to attack with Vanguard, use your Rising Stride skill to put something into soul, and then you're going to call something out. And then this thing gets the boost from Rising Stride skill. And then you're going to give the boost to Frog Raider just to give them incentive to want to use their Disruptive G-Guard or their, their Hetero Around Dragon. And then you perform your Triple Drive. If you hit any triggers, I would recommend putting it onto the front row rear guard. That way, when they use Hetero Around, if they use it on the first attack, they still have to guard for extra on top of that to protect themselves. And now from here, we're going to attack with the frog booster side, giving the power to the unit in front of Frog Raider. And if they bring down Hetero Around Dragon, they're likely going to, if they hit Frog Raider, Frog Raider is going to return to deck. And we're going to give the skill, like I said, to the unit in front of Frog. We're going to shuffle. And then we're going to call a unit back. If it's Frog Raider, that's great. If it's not Frog Raider, so we'll show you that. If it's not Frog Raider, we're gonna put it into the front row here. And then at the end of the battle, we're going to put the unit that attacked into soul with a card from our hand into the soul. And then we're gonna recall Frog Raider back behind. And then the rest of the sequ sequence is gonna be when you attack with the the other rear guard, you're gonna give the skill to the unit in front of Frog again, and then you repeat the process for Hero Rounds two and three, or how many they have. Cause you can keep this up as long as you have cards in hand, as the case with Hellheart eight. <laughs> so it's really not that difficult to play around Hellheart eight when you have a Gear Chronicle opponent. The hard part is make sure you have enough hand to be able to utilize it. Thankfully, if you have a Frog Raider in hand already, you can just simply attack with Vanguard and get three, at least three cards back into your hand through the Triple Drive. And now, I want to show you what, what you should do if you don't have Frog Raider in your hand as you go into your Hellheart 8 turn. So, let me set that up and I'll be right back. Alright, so, if you don't have Frog Raider in your hand, all you simply need to do is to call a unit to your front row somewhere on your rear guard circle. And then from here, you're going to attack, giving the eight skill to the attacking rear guard. And then at the end of that battle, you're gonna put it and the card from your hand into the soul. And you're gonna search out frog. And then you just reestablish the very first setup. So, so all we need to do is to attack with Vanguard. 
use Ryzen's stride skill, open up, call the unit out, then give the Ryzen stride skill to it, the power boost from it, and then give the eight skill back to your frog raider. And then we've just backed our way into the very first setup as before. And it's really simple. So <laughs> thankfully it's not difficult to play around head around dragon just because since it recalls a card for us, we can just keep the chain going as long as possible. And even though it's uncommon, if you happen to run into Pandora Chimera, I would recommend putting it behind, uh, not behind Vanguard to the opposite side, just because we can potentially use it, use it to boost before we have to tuck it away with, uh, through Pandora skill. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you out. And I'm sorry again that it's later than I would, I wanted it to be originally. So I hope it helps somebody out in the future because Hell Heart 8 is going to be pretty much forever. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they bring out something that can creep it, which is which be hard to do because of how how insane it is. So, hope you enjoy. Look out for more. Have a couple more of these to do, and yeah, that'll do it for me. And until next time, peace. Be easy. Listen.